Everybody doing okay so far? So now an important thing in the AFK, an important concept where I see a lot of people making mistakes is here. So questions, the, the release questions, and, and concepts that you'll be discussing for taking the AFK. 95% of it, there's pretty much a consensus about it, meaning like there's an agreement on what the answer is. You just have to learn it. It's not like you know it, you just have to learn it though. You still have to learn it, but it's it's 100 percent sure. Right? We're sure. There's no there's no debate. I just have to tell you, look, I have a reference, I have I'm, I'm 100 percent sure this is the answer. Five percent is controversial. Okay? That's gonna be debatable. And and even concepts, 5% are debatable. And they still debate about things right now, like centric relations. You still see people, different books have different ways of defining things, right? So there are things that are controversial. When you enter a field of science and, and you're going to the most deepest layers of the knowledge, you're going to have to deal with that. There's going to be controversies, right? That's how it works, right? We don't, we don't always know everything in life, right? So we have to deal with controversies. But what I see students doing is, they waste 95% of their brain on the 5%. And they forget about the 95%. That's the issue. Okay? That's, that's an issue. So we always try to push people here. Just don't worry about that. Take our answers. We're sure of them. I know you don't feel sure of them. Right? We know what they want. We know we've been doing this for a long time. And it's been working. They do these answers and they go to the exam. Usually they don't even come in the exam. But if they do, just go with this, don't worry, start it over. But people, some people can't help it, and they start researching for days, right? And that's a mistake, because you're just putting too much effort in something that has a low chance of actually coming and affecting your mark, okay? Because you want to be efficient, meaning you want to use the time that, if you spend 10 hours studying, you spend in something that's going to get you, that has a high chance of coming and that you can answer correctly. Right, so something that let's say infection control. I'm not going. We shouldn't. You shouldn't go spend days on infection control because what's the, what are the chances that they're going to bring a question not from the release that's new? And if it's new, what are the chances that you won't know it and others would? That's what I have to think. Very low for all that to happen. Right. So the time wasted on studying it and perfecting it is not worth the outcome. You understand what I mean? So that's why, that's what will be guiding you mostly. Be efficient, we want you to be efficient. Strength, strengthen these areas. Those areas, just learn how to answer the questions. But don't dig into them, you see? Okay? And I think part of this is maybe what happens, students, you know, we give them this knowledge and the answers and everything. They go and they put it in their back pocket. They go like, okay, let's just leave that. We already know it. We'll come back to it. They think if they read it once, we're done, they're done. And then they go and they're like, now we have to make sure to perfect this. And they come to the exam and they realize that they forgot everything here. And they go like, whoa, we didn't know that we were going to forget it that easy. I thought we studied it. Yeah, but you forget. Right? It's easy to forget. So that's why reviewing the 95% more and more is better than learning and focusing on the 5%. Okay? Because you want to perfect the 95 <clears throat> Okay? Another way of looking at it you want to think about it in a different way. Let's say the course is happening over a time of four or five months. Okay? The first dose of questions, remember there's 95% concepts and 5%. And then after, the next weekend you're going to take another dose. The next weekend another dose. The next weekend another dose. If you focus on the 95 every time, you're more efficient. And your, your, your progress will look like this. So yes, it's not perfect to the blue. But you see where you are, by the time you reach the exam, you're 95% ready. If you try to focus on this 5%, what happens is, yes, in the beginning, you're going to perfect it. But then slowly you'll see that you're delayed, and you're behind. And then this part here becomes sloppy. Does that make sense? So you want to be the person that's focusing on the 95% consistently. And it's a, it's a skill to learn how to let things go. Okay, and you can see that in, when you're taking the exam. If you're a person that cannot skip a question, then you have to practice skipping a question. <laughs> if you have to solve this question right now, and you're going to sit down and spend 10 minutes on it until it's solved, and then move to the next question, 
we're going to work on <laughs> helping you practice not to do that. Okay? Because some questions are kind of just distractions. They put them in because they don't want you to get 100%. Right? They don't want you to get 100%. They can't help everybody just get 100%. That's what kind of exam is that? So they have to put maybe, I don't know, 50 questions that's like, why do ra you know, rabbits eat carrots? And then you have to like figure out like, why? I don't know. So you don't spend time on it. It's a distraction. Let go of it and move on to the real question. That's how you want to think of it. Okay? So focus on the 95%. So read the confusing. Read them. But move on. Don't get stuck. And it's always happening. Even in class it happens. Someone gets stuck and they start asking. Like, they can't like focus anymore. If they're stuck at a certain point, I tell them, learn how to move on. Skip it and move on. Okay, next point. Let's get to the next point. If a question is subjective, sometimes there are some subjective questions, you may never reach an answer with it. But anyway, take our answers, okay? <laughs> but sometimes it's subjective, you may never reach an answer. And it's just a waste of time to research it. If a question has two options which can be confirmed, sometimes you can find a reference that supports this answer and a reference that supports another answer in the same question. Also, move on and just leave it. Choosing the exam. Don't stretch yourself about it. Trust me, that's not the question that's going to cause you to fail. Okay? Not the difficult one. It's the average one that causes you to fail. Okay? People take the exam and they think they, they're worried about those difficult questions, but when, from the mock exam, from last year even, and previous year, from what I've seen from experience, is that they're worried about the hard question. They ask me, what was the answer to that question? That came in the exam. What was that? I don't want to know. Well, then while we're discussing it, we find that one of the easiest questions they got wrong. And he doesn't even know how he got wrong. Like, how, how did he, he did not choose that. He's like, I did not choose that. I don't know how I did it. I'm sure this is the answer, but I chose A. I don't know why. You see, this is the mistake that fails people. They leave not knowing they made it. But it's those small mistakes, right? It's not the hardest questions I couldn't answer. That's why I failed. It's not that. So we have to focus on the average, the slightly above average area. Okay. So the courses. Our course will speed up the process of you basically going through this curve. It speeds you up. Okay, you're going to go quickly instead of studying on your own. So I, I created this circle to make a point. And this also goes back to the 5%, 95%. However, the 5%, 95% was more about things we we're 100% sure of, things that may be debatable. This is different. This is details and general dentistry stuff, okay? So imagine, this is all the specialties in dentistry. And each one, so like an orthodontist would know everything here in this little part, okay? We want to target the core of everything. So that's the green, see the green? That's your target. And we have to strengthen that. It has to become very strong that you're like, amazing guy, that's the goal. So you have to become amazing at the green, the core of everything. I'm not making you an orthodontist. I'm not going to make you an endodontist or a periodontist. And you don't want to become that. This is not where you do that. Okay? The questions will come like this. Okay? So the questions, most of them, over 80 to 90 percent of them will come from the green. Are there questions from the details? Yes, there are questions from the details. But for you, we will answer those questions and you just memorize them on the spot. You don't go do a study about it. Do you understand what I mean? Because let me show you this. This is, for example, one year. The next year, the questions could come like this. So that means the core is the same. You'll, you'll get the high percentage from the core. But the details could change. Maybe one year they ask you details about anesthesia, a very mild, like little detail that you never thought of in a release question. You memorize it. Because next year, they may get a detail from pathology. So you memorize it. Because for you to guarantee the details from each year, since the star is changing, then that means you have to expand your knowledge like this. Does that make sense? And you think that's possible? You can't be a specialist in everything. Right? Just reading Carenza by itself will take you a year, probably. Okay. Right? So 
if you, this is what we try to guide you to do, because that's why people fail. They try to specialize. Okay? They see a, a question about which sugar did you use in cooking? I don't know if you guys have seen this question. So they go, they study all the sugars, and then they think that they're asking about sugars. No, they're not asking about sugars. They're asking about that specific sugar in that question. Just memorize it. Don't go do a study about sugars and, and which ones are using cooking, which ones should be not using cooking. Become an expert on sugars, and you're forgetting that primordial system, right? This is the problem. So when there's detailed questions, we will answer them for you. Memorize them on the spot without learning the surrounding. But in the core area, we want to focus on. Okay? Again, people don't fail because of mistakes in here. People fail because of mistakes in here. Okay? So what reading materials are there? Well, if you're taking the course, our reading materials quite enough to pass. So we're going to give you, in the course, four books, basically, that summarize everything you need. One, two, three, and four. And we created them in the way that they're in book format so that they're easy to carry instead of being in slides. So most courses now are still printing out slides. Okay? And you get this kind of material because they're slides, right? Our courses, our course here, even though it looks, it looks smaller, it's a lot of information because it's just in doc format. So word format makes it look more Compact, so it's easy to carry. People said they like this more, it's more comfortable. So that's why I work hard on arranging that. <clears throat> so those are the four books. Plus any all the other materials, questions, anything like that, we'll get. And that's enough to pass to keep reading it over and over. Now people underestimate it. So a lot of people from last course, they took the course, and then they said it's really hard to go through them all. We're, we need another we don't want to take the course again because they need more time to study them. So there's a lot of stuff to study. It's easy to forget one sentence. And a question could come from one sentence sometimes. So that's the thing. Now, if you're not taking the course, the dental text part one and two, Mosby review, first aid, those are things that you could use if you're not taking the course. So if you're not taking this course, I would recommend dental text part two only and release questions. That's going to be your main source. So what do, what do courses do? What does the course do? You need to reach a certain point for you to pass. <laughs> so the question is, I get asked, can you pass without courses? And in 2018, the answer is different than if you asked me that in 2014. So my previous answer used to be, yes, you can pass without courses, because a lot of people have done it. But now, so many people are taking courses, and the level of knowledge is going up in the community to take people taking the exam. So remember, it's a competition. It's not if you answer correctly, you get in. It's, are you answering better than everyone else? So that's why in 2018, it's, it's very difficult to pass without a course. Okay, before, maybe you had a better chance, efficiently and faster. Okay, so this journey will depend on your pace. Each person has a pace. For example, one student may need six months without a course of reading and studying. But with the course, will be three months. However, another student may need a year without the course and six months with the course. So that means not all the students have the same level of outcome. Okay? You have to, and I understand that. That's why I, I, I already have in mind, like, I understand the level of what's happening, right? And you have to understand that too, right? So everybody's different. Not everybody goes in course, they end up passing, okay? Some people need more time. Some people do it in one course. So it just depends on you. If you. However, it's not that, oh, we took the course and it didn't work for us. It's not that. It's that you needed more time. That's just the reality. And if you don't take the course, you're going to need even more time. Right? Because we, for sure, speed the things up for you. Okay? 